Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in RC series circuits. The first problem, a series RC circuit with resistance 20 ohm and capacitance 127 microfarad has 160 volt 50 hertz supply connected to it. Find the impedance, current, power factor and power. Also draw the phasor diagram of the given RC circuit. So here the resistance and capacitance values are given. We are going to find out the characteristics of RC series circuit. Okay. So first we have to write the given data. So what all are the data given in this problem? The resistance value is 20 ohm. Capacitance is 127 microfarad. Micro means 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So voltage is 160 volt and frequency 50 hertz. So it is a RC series circuit. We are going to find the impedance, current, power factor and power for the given values. So in the solution part, first we are going to find out the impedance value. So what is impedance? Impedance is nothing but the combination of a resistance and the reactance value. So here resistance is the real part. Capacitive reactance is the imaginary part. So capacitor has the negative reactance. So we can use this minus sign here. So Z is equal to R minus JXC. So R value is given in this problem. We are going to find out this XC using this formula 1 by 2 pi FC. So here capacitive reactance is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. Simply we can substitute this frequency and capacitance values here that is 1 by 2 into pi into F value is 50. Capacitance is 127 into 10 to the power minus 6. Then we can get the answer as 25 ohm. So this is the capacitive reactance. So next we can write the impedance as R minus Jxc. So R value is 20, here Xc value is 25 ohm. So it is in the complex form. So complex means real and imaginary term. So we need to convert this complex term into the polar form. Polar form means the magnitude along with the phase. So how can we get this magnitude? That is Z is equal to modulus of Z is equal to square root of the real part square plus imaginary part square. So simply we can take this value that is square root of 20 squared plus 25 squared. Then we can get the answer as 32. So 32 is the magnitude of this impedance. Do you all understand this one? So what about this phase? So phase can be obtained using the formula phi is equal to turn inverse of the imaginary value to the real value. So here we can say Xc by R. So what is this Xc value? That is the reactance value. That is minus 25. So we can simply use this term. Turn inverse of minus 25 divided by 20. Then we can get the answer as minus 51.3 degree. Do you all understand this one? So the magnitude is 32. Phase is minus 51.3 degree. Okay. So this is the polar form. Okay. So impedance in terms of complex as well as polar form is given here. So after getting this value, we are going to find out the current value. So what is the formula for this current? Current is equal to voltage divided by impedance. So here we can substitute that voltage that is 160. There is no phase value given in this problem. We can simply assume that value is 0 degree. Okay. So here we can say the voltage is 160 with the phase 0 degree divided by Z value that is 32 with the phase minus 51.3. So here in division we cannot use the complex term. We can use only the polar term. Okay. So here I is equal to V by Z that is equal to 160 with the phase 0 divided by 32 with the phase minus 51.3. So for this magnitude division, we can directly divide this. 
So 160 divided by 32, that value is 5. Okay. But for this phase, how can we get this division? For the phase value, we can simply take the subtraction. That is numerator minus the denominator. Okay. Do you all understand this one? So whenever we are going to divide the phase values, we are going to perform subtraction. So here we can do the subtraction operation 0 degree minus of minus 51.3 degree. So minus into minus we can get plus. So here the answer is current is equal to 5 with the phase plus 51.3 degree unit is ampere. You will understand this concept. So after getting this current value we are going to find out the power factor its formula is cos phi is equal to the ratio of a resistance to the magnitude of the impedance. So that is resistance 20, magnitude of impedance is 32. We can get the value as cos phi is equal to 0 0.625. So it is in the leading condition. Because in this RC circuit, current leads the voltage by the phase value phi. Okay. Next, we are going to find out the power value. Here we can consider the real power. That is Vi cos phi. So V value is 160, I value is 5, cos phi value is 0 0.625. Okay, then the answer is 500 watts. So in this power, we can consider only the magnitude values. Okay, not the phase. Okay, so in case of reactive power, we have to use the formula Q is equal to V into I sin phi. So in the problem if they explicitly mention the term reactive power we can use this formula. Okay this is only for real power. Then we are going to draw the phasor diagram. For this phasor diagram we need to have the magnitude along with the phase. So voltage is equal to 160 with the phase 0 degree. For the current its value is 5 with the phase 51.3 degree. Then we can take this voltage in this direction with a phase 51.3 we can have the current signal. So here we can have the current signal like this. So this is the phasor diagram for this given RC series circuit. Do you all understand this one? Next problem. A capacitor and resistor are connected in series to an AC supply of 60 volts 50 hertz. The current is 2 ampere and the power dissipated in the resistor is 80 watts. Calculate the resistance and capacitance values. So in this problem, we are going to calculate the resistance and capacitance values. So what are the data given here? The voltage 60 volt, frequency as 50 hertz, power dissipated in the resistor. So here. The power dissipated in the resistor is given as 80 watts and the current in the circuit is 2 ampere. What we are going to find out? Resistance and capacitance values. This problem is very important one. Okay. So first we are going to find out the resistance value. For that we can use this power concept. So what is power? Voltage multiplied with current that can also be written as I squared into R. So here we can use this relation. From this we can get the resistance is equal to power divided by I squared. So here we can use this power to find out the resistance value. So next we are going to find out the capacitance. So here how can we get this capacitance value? From this reactive element. So C is equal to what? 1 by 2 pi F into Xc. So here we do not know this value Xc. So first we have to find out this Xc value from this impedance value. So R is known but we do not know this Z value. So this magnitude of impedance can be obtained from voltage and current. So Z is equal to what? Voltage divided by current. So, so first we are going to find out this Z from this given values B and I. And then substitute this Z and R values to find out this Xc. After that we can substitute that value in this formula to get capacitance. Do you all understand this one? First we are going to find out the resistance value. So here 
we can use this power formula p is equal to i squared r from this r is equal to p by i squared so what is the power value 80 watts divided by i value is 2 that is 2 squared 80 divided by 4 is equal to 20 so the resistance value is 20 ohm so next we are going to find out this capacitance for that first we have to find out this impedance impedance is equal to v by i v is 60 volt i is 2 ampere then we can get the impedance is equal to 30 ohm next we are going to use this relation impedance is equal to that is the magnitude of z is equal to square root of r squared plus x squared so what is this r value 20 ohm what is this z value 30 ohm we can simply substitute all those values here but before that we can simplify this relation so here we can remove the square root by taking the square on both the sides so here modulus of z squared is equal to r squared plus x squared then we can find out this x squared by moving this r squared to this side as minus so here x c squared is equal to z squared that value is 30 30 squared minus 20 squared we can get 500 but we want to find out x c for that we can take the square root on both the sides we can get the answer as x c is equal to 22.36 ohm that is the capacitive reactance value we want to find out the capacitance value right so here we can use the formula x c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f c from this we can get this capacitance value that is c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into x c so simply we can substitute all those values here 1 by 2 pi into 50 into 22.36 then we can get c is equal to 1 by 7024.6 the answer is 142.4 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad so 10 to the power minus 6 can be written as microfarad do you all understand this one